All right. So I've got a little prep work done here. I've got most of my wires at least started. This green one here is R12. Remember there's going to be a, a jumper from the negative of the capacitor over here about an inch long. That's this piece here. I will thread that through this hole and then take this off and shape the tip. Comes over and connects to the uh, MOSFETs to the sources. And it'll run across and then I'll trim off the end. As I pulled off the insulation, I uh, trimmed it real carefully, made sure it didn't damage any of the uh, copper wire, and then slid it off slowly and twisted it so it's very tight all the way down and that'll keep it from fraying. And we're just going to lay it and solder it on each of the sources. And we need to do this in a certain order. So the first thing we're going to do is um, the gates. So I've got uh, gate, gate A and gate B. So gate A is going to run two FETs and gate B is going to run two MOSFETs. So if you notice here, a very small bit, uh, amount of uh, wire is showing. That's so that I can attach it to the gates. It's probably hard to see, but the gates have been trimmed back quite a bit. We don't want to have any extra uh, exposure. The um, the cell negative coming across is going to go right there where it's sitting. So it'll be very close, the wires will be very close to the gates. So, we, And I'm going to pull all the insulation off of the white wire while it goes across to form the bus. We've also got um, an orange wire here, that's our main power, going to the board. There's a black wire in the bottom, it's fed across, and it's going to go in here into the ground terminal also, be fed in there. Um, these are my two sense wires, uh, sense negative, and this is uh, sense positive or S positive and S negative. Um, I'm going to wrap those very tightly, leaving about a quarter of an inch of, of copper. And I've got about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter there, stripped back, so we get a good wrap. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the S positive. I'm going to wrap that just before it uh, joins the, uh, the FET. Make a good solder joint on that. D1 will go into the positive terminal along with the positive voltage of the board and then there's a, another cable that runs across this black wire here and goes over to the positive of the capacitor and the junction of uh, C7 positive and C5 positive. I'm going to use a piece of heat shrink to make sure that uh, the, ground, the gates don't ground out. Do that on both of them. So now I've pulled out anything that would be in the way of me soldering. So I'll be able to out of that gate just like that and go on to the next one, next one, next one. 
So I'm going to preach in um, my gate leads so that the solder will accept it. I've pre-tinned my wires so they are uh, ready to uh, accept more solder. So they sh the solder joint should be sound. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to pre-tin that gate lead or gate lead on the MOSFET. like that. Now there should be enough solder between the uh, the wire and what I just tinned on the lead. Then it should just bond. So they should clear the sound negative wire. At each of the drains, the drain should come right over that. Just make sure they don't touch. So what I've got here is a large service loop. And then this is going to be sitting about like that when it's all said and done. So I'll have no trouble taking this one out. The, uh, the positive doesn't need a service loop because it has this, the smaller wires coming off it and the black wire is very long and stretches over here so that isn't really a problem. But this one could end up being a problem. So I need to strip back the wire that are in here all the way over to the drain here. So I'm going to pick my spot, make a little mark on the wire. This is where you want to be careful. You don't want to just cut into it. I just kind of dig into the plastic without actually cutting too much of it. Get your fingernail in it. Then twist it, pull a little more, just a little more. Oops. Now we want to keep insulation in the areas where we're going to need it. <laughs> 